Hi guys, so we're back to Port Royale 3. This will be like the sixth episode or so. Last like three or four episodes were all recorded in one massive gaming session. Time just flew by so quickly. It was like one hour that I was playing, but it felt like 15 minutes. It was a really, really fun um, time that I had pl just playing that around. So sorry if the episodes are cut like in really weird sections. I just did that in Sony Vegas, just started cutting it. Uh, so the episode wouldn't be too long. Um, I did play a bit of the adventurer campaign, um, just the start, and what I'm going to do right now is um, check what do you want over here. Um, I do want to buy another ship, although should we buy a brig? You know what, let's buy a brig. Okay, so I did play the adventurer campaign. Oh, nice, and we went up another level. So what else do we get on our table? Some golden jewelry it looks like, and some golden statue or something. But the adventure campaign starts off exactly the same as the trader campaign, so... Um, and I think that the missions are almost exactly the same as all, which is kind of disappointing. I have the following task for you. So, um, I probably will not do the adventure campaign, I'll just have to keep on playing by myself and just understand what uh, you have to do a bit later on. So, I'll see what we'll do, but we'll continue on with the trading campaign. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. It probably isn't the most exciting Let's Play because just because of the game, it's mainly points and click. But um, I did continue on playing a bit by myself just to understand more of the game. I'm definitely getting there. And hopefully this little couple of sessions that I'm going to be recording in of this game should be um, pretty good. I shouldn't be screwing up or anything like that. So anyway, let's take this mission right now from this guy. Oh, damn it. Ages mission just stopped. That's no good. Anyway, what I need to do, I was blabbering for too long. What I need to do is buy build two rum distilleries. So let's do that. Um, I'll just explain this if I haven't already. I don't think I have. So for the distillery, to make one unit of rum, we need um, half wood, half a unit of wood. So that's um, uh, the wood is used as fuel to make the rum. And then the sugar, we need one unit of sugar and that creates one unit of rum. And to build this uh, distillery, it costs 40 wood, 80 adobe bricks, and overall 17 grand. So let's just build that. Let's build two of them because that's what we need. And we need some adobe bricks while we're at it. Okay. We're still at 82 grand. Let's just check this. No transfer possible. You can only visit the Harbour Master if you have... Where's my selected convoy? I thought I had... Yeah, this brig. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's Neptune, and this guy is someone totally different, isn't it? Yes. We'll call him Kalushe. Okay. Um, so let's just go... Actually, this guy wants to talk, and he'll want... Yes. There is something you could do. That definitely helps us out, because we also get the 25 grand, and also we can... The bricks go to building the rum distillery, even though we can already build it. Anyway, let's accept that. Okay. So that actually is going to be... Quite a lot of Edo bricks that we're going to have to take. And when do we need to do it by? Um, ooh, 12th of October. Okay, let's just slow time down to 0 0.1 speed. And let's go to the navigation menu. So let's start sending our ship out. I think adobe bricks can be built over here in the Havana. Indeed they can. Okay, send, send that thing over there. And um, I want to send... Where's the other ship? Actually, I think we can go to... Congratulations. You have now built your first plant requiring okay, cool, raw cool. materials to produce goods. Please now, Neptune... That these raw materials Neptune to be, be on a trading route between Port Royal, as a plant Trinidad, always picks up raw materials and from the warehouse. here and here. Okay, because these guys from memory... Yes, yeah, they do all have adobe bricks. Do you have, see if anyone over here has adobe bricks as well that we can use there we go these guys okay let's change the settings to not prosperity profit empty warehouse um, stock and supply i think is what we want so let's activate the route um procure raw materials and empty warehouse the captain initially tries to supply your businesses with raw materials at the time same time he also loads stored goods in order to sell them along the routes obtain built that's what we want that's what we want deactivate and then activate is that going to make a difference? Yes, obtain building materials. Okay, that should work out rather well for us. Let's just leave this mode. Um, that route is working for us. So let's just head back uh, to that ship. That's heading over to Havana. 
speed things up a little. Hopefully we'll get this mission done in time. And we need a crap load of bricks, so let's just buy all of them and a lot of wood. Okay, and I think we hit our maximum amounts of things that we're able No, we almost hit the maximum amount of things we're able to carry. Not yet, but close to it. So let's just drop all of those things off, the building materials, sell them off. Okay. We're getting there. Okay, what do you guys have? Anything we need? Nope. Do you have anything we need? Nope. What about Campeche? Yes. Okay, we can start heading over there. Meanwhile, I have a couple of guys like doing the um, prosperity trading routes, which also helps me out. Let's just buy that. That's going to be more than enough wood as well. Um, popularity in Campeche decreases. Doesn't really matter to me. Uh, we're still at 220. Okay. So that means we're probably going to have to do one more round of Addo bricks as well. Uh, so that's. We haven't even done the wood mission yet? Wow. Okay. But let's just head over to Santiago then. Even though we have a ship going there. But, uh, buy that wood. And, okay. Let's try to see where they... Where else they sell some bricks. Hmm. No? Okay. Let's start looking at the Dutch a bit closer. Come on. There's got to be some Dutch colonies that make bricks. There we go. They can't be a brickless society. Otherwise, that wouldn't be much of a society at all. And we'll just buy all the bricks that we can buy from them. Okay. I think we were limited by the amount of um, our cargo hold. We could upgrade. We could actually um, build a convoy, like a much larger convoy. But anyway, sell that and sell that. Okay. That's more than enough things. Okay. We got the extra bonus as well, which is nice. So what else, what was our mission that we need to do? Tasks. Trading campaign. Build two rum distilleries. How have we not built two rum distilleries with all those resources? It's very interesting. Uh, the governor wants us to another mission for us. I offer you the following assignment. You want 96 more bricks? Really? Okay, we did buy two rum distilleries. We need more sugar though, don't we? And, oh, the warehouse wants something. He wants workers and another warehouse as well. See, just check this. Um, we'll get a warehouse. We need just one more warehouse. Although, I'll probably build two more warehouses just for the sake of um, having them. So, let's go warehouse. Okay. Let's build two right up here. And we have more than enough resources, which is great. And also, I could build a couple more houses, couldn't I? Because you have one house, like for each business, is the recommended scale. Three should be enough. And we're running out of money, so we better slow down on that. So th that should help us out a lot. Let's just go here. Out over here. Build two realm distilleries and fully staff them with new workers. So they need to be staffed now. Okay, so we could go to other islands and get... Um, find new people, but I just want to go to here and check my trading routes okay you're losing money neptune santa maria neptune and santa maria okay we only have two trading routes then how many ships do we have three. Oh well three convoys i should say so this one is not doing anything okay so this guy he can come over to say Cayman, we have um, missions from Cayman later on, so I'm not going to take citizens from there. Let's just go to Providence. And let's go over here. And this is how we take people. There are 22 settlers in town. Four of these settlers are offering their services. Kind of sounds um, like they're prostitutes, but um, we can actually speed up time as well. Just a one-time speed. Safe. Very oh, good. there we go. Your new rum distilleries are now fully stocked. Nice. We didn't even have to bring As with all processing plants, you have to make absolutely sure you always have enough raw materials in stock, as otherwise production stops. As your plant grows, the time will come when you can no longer manage the transportation yourself, at which point you should set up trade routes that do so automatically. For practice, you must now set up your first simple trade route okay so uh, 
Well, basically, we this is why I thought I traded at the start because they want us to only now start doing trading routes, which we've been using since the very start of the game to actually get that two hundred thousand dollars, which we were supposed to. So they probably wanted this wanted us to take this game a lot slower, but that'd be just a waste of time. So they want us to do a trading route between Port Royal, Cayman, Nombre de Dios, Havana, and Gibara, and. What we'll do is because the whole point of having them is to supply um, Port Royal with the goods that we need such as sugar and wood for the distilleries. So the way we do that, we're going to take this one, the Kaluche or whatever it's called. Actually, let's just check what we need to level up. Um, I think we go back to overview. We still need some more employees, more stowage, so another ship will be in need. And we need a bit more wealth as well. But what we're going to do is go to trading routes, set a new trading route. Go to Port Royal, Cayman, Nombre de Dios, Havana, Gibara, and then we're going to go to Santiago, Port au Prince, and Trinidad for actually, yeah, Trinidad has wood as well. So the reason that I added, um, I think, Trinidad and Port au Prince, we didn't have to add, or Santiago. So, the reason I added them three, I don't think we needed Santiago, but the reason I added them three is Trinidad has wood, um, Santiago has wood as well, and Port-au-Prince has sugar, and also has bricks, but we aren't, we aren't going to set the trading ports, trading routes on um, building materials, but we are going to set it on, not prosperity, profits, empty warehouse, produce, procure raw materials. So this just gets raw materials, to our businesses um, so they can actually produce what they need and we need especially wood and um, wood and sugar sorry so let's activate the roots and there we go so that's going to do its work for us let's leave that mode Excellent. and there we go your first trade route is up and running it would obviously be best for your rum distilleries in Port Royal if you were to produce the required sugar yourself this can be done in Cayman. As you know, that city is particularly dear to Elena's heart. She has therefore persuaded her father to have us help Cayman along a bit. But before you can produce in a city, you must purchase a production license from the city architect. And to do that, you must be very popular in the city. Okay, so there's actually two different licenses that you need. You need a production license or whatever the guy mentioned a yeah production license and then you get a business license so the production license only enables us to buy build a warehouse and the houses but for a sugarcane farm we need a business license which costs even more money so that's just gonna be great right now um, I'm just gonna go to the trading routes and I think it was Neptune where's Neptune yes Neptune we don't need any more wooden bricks so he's just wasting money, so I'm going to uh, just, well we, ha well we have them selected, so I'm going to cancel that. What is he carrying? He's carrying more of that crap. Okay, well he can just come over to Port Royal. And once we come over to Port Royal, just sell the goods that we need. Okay, that's fantastic. And now let's set up a trading route. Um, edit routes. Let's just delete the last town. Delete, delete, delete. What's this say? Approach towns and duration. Oh, okay. So this shows the duration of the actual trading route. Nice. Okay, next. We've unlocked most islands. I think there's a couple over here, but... um, Oh, most cities, not islands. But let's go from uh, Providence to Cartagena to Santa Maria. Hmm. Let's just go all the way along here. And just take up all of this. There we go. In a nice little circle, that should work out rather well. And what if we go add those towns and Port Royal? There we go. Now set this to settings and let's make this prosperity. So we actually make some um, good cash money. And there we go. He is on his way. He should be making money very soon. Let's just speed things up. Let's see what he's going to take from Providence. If he's gonna, oh, he bought some stuff, nice. Okay, so we should be making a fair bit of money right away, although because we are buying things, we're losing it and getting it continuously. 
There we go, we're up to 25 grand. See, it drops off and it goes back up really, really quickly. It, like, fluctuates. So, let's just wait up a couple of minutes until we um, get a bit further on. And then I'll buy another ship because a ship is much needed for the next level. We need, well, 150 more um, stowage. So, we can wait up a little bit. More hopefully it goes up. It <laughs> seems to be going down and down and down. Our sh our, let's just actually check on our businesses. That would be the smart thing for me to do, wouldn't it? So, we, what do you want? Lack of raw materials, really? You guys, the materials, okay, yes, yes. So, we aren't getting enough sugar into our town, which is very, very disappointing. Quite disappointing. So, they take up what? They take up two um, barrels each day, I think it is, of sugar. I guess. It's not really coming up when I highlight it. I'll hover over it. Um, hmm. So, how about uh, you want us to build a warehouse, whatever. I'm not going to build one just yet. Let's go to the trading route that I just set up over here. Yep. Them and check. Okay, well, he's bringing in sugar. There we go. 42 sugar. Did he sell it? He didn't sell that sugar, did he? Where is it? Is it? Oh, it's these guys, radio. There we go. He sold the sugar. Nice. Okay, so let's go back to Port Royal. And just make sure that they are supplied now with sugar. Yes. Look at that. Your businesses in Port Royal are currently doing very well. So that's how we fix that problem. Which is great. Uh, who's over here? Okay. I'm not going to do any pirate woman um, missions like to destroy pirates for treasure maps just yet. Let's just check what they want over here. Oh. Should we accept... I uh, don't think so. Oh, actually, okay. Actually, we, do, we just don't have enough money. We ran out of it just when I clicked it. Damn, we're at 30 grand just then as well. Let's just speed things up. Hopefully, this goes up to like $40,000 soon. Come on. Damn, we are losing a, a bit of money. Let's just check um, trading routes. They all seem to be making money. Neptune, Santa Maria, and the Kalusha is obviously going to be losing money because... His goal is not to actually make money, but to actually give us the resources that we very much need. So, speed things up a little. There we go. We got our money. We must have sold quite a bit. Let's go back to buy and brig. Okay. So, now we have another ship that we can set on trade routes. Brig. Form another convoy called Esperanza, which is going to help us out quite a bit. Let's just go back up here. And you know what I'm going to tell Esperanza to do? I'm just going to tell Esperanza to set up a new trading route and we're just going to make a little bit more money while we can. Um, how many days is that going to take? 19. You know what? Let's delete. Oh, what did I do? What did I do? I'll delete the last couple of towns. How much is that going to take? 10 days. What if I add San Peco and Corpus Christi? 17 days. Let's change the settings to Prosperity, Fantastic, and Leave Mode. This should activate it. There we go. Okay, so now we should be making a fair bit more money as well. Now, there we go. We're back up to like 20 grand almost. Keeps on fluctuating. What else do we need? I think to level up, we need... Oh, no treasure map. I don't care. Trading campaign. What am I doing? We need to get an overview. We need 36 more employees. So let's just wait up for more money then. Because we have all the stuff that we need, basically. Just check what they're taking. Oh wow, they got lots of dice. Nice. 12 dies. Alrighty, so this is basically all the game really is. There are some like naval battles as well, which I'll have to explore. Wow. Got a large boost of money just then. Definitely going to be a big help. Nice. Okay, you know what? He's making a lot of money that Esperanza boat, so... And what I need to do is, when he's in, sh in the next ship... Oh, well, in the next port. Actually, let's just cancel the route. Go over here, and let's start taking more people. So, there's four people over here. 
So we need we need more people. Equip over here, yes, thank you. Go to the Florida Keys. Oh, not wood, we want people. Four people. I think that uh, due to the, like the amount of people that like us it affects like how many people want to um, work with us or want to work come over here and you will surely have encountered the occasional pirate convoy. not yet each pirate convoy belongs to a gang which grows stronger with each successful attack and plunder pirates are driven off and hunted by military convoys but the military are only moderately successful you are therefore awarded a decent bonus whenever you defeat a pirate convoy. You can even try to board and seize their ship. Oh, we just went up a level as well. I was just checking. Radio. We're now Chief Petty Officer. And we unlocked a whole treasure box and some treasure behind it. Nice. Okay. So, for the next uh, level, we need, we need a crap load of more money and also a bit more wealth. Let's go back and activate that trade route. Uh, meanwhile, actually, okay, you activate that trade route. Okay, okay. Now we got to go to Cayman, and we got to complete those missions. Although we need a ship. Okay, you come back. You can be our ship that we're going to control. Come to Cayman. Let's just check the mission. We need a warehouse. Actually, I just—it's hidden over here. The architect. So click on him, and oh, the people over here need to like us. Um, Thirty percent. Okay. By, like we need to improve the relations. So a good way to um, improve relations do is you wish to? by giving them face. Would you like to be the benefactor who donated the goods for a small celebration? I sure would. Okay, so what we can do is do that face. So let's just check once more what we need. Um, twenty ten Deliver ten me the ten. Goods. And I'll arrange 20, an exhilarating celebration. So I've got to try to remember that, and I probably will not. But let's go ahead, and I know I can get rum from Port Royal. So I'll just head over to Port Royal, and we need those goods. So Port Royal, and ten barrels of rum. Actually, we can even buy the legs of ham as well. So we need ten of them. Ten rum, which is I know I missed it. There we go. And now we need 20 bread, which we can get. And we needed 20 bananas or fruit. There we go. Okay. Go back to Cayman and they will st start loving us very soon. So we don't trade it um, in the dock. We have to actually give it to the guy over here, to the priest or the pedo. Hand over the goods. Fantastic. And there should be some fireworks. At least, well, that's what you get for a big feast. This was Christmas. So all we can do now is pray, but now the people like us, which is great. We went all the way up by 21%. Nice. I have valuable information for you. No, I don't care about pirates hideout just yet because I really need to learn how to use the military, shouldn't I? There we go. There's some fireworks. What's up for you guys? I'm surprised I even had fireworks back into the the 1500s. Wow. And nighttime descends when the fireworks come out, which is kind of cool. Also, because it's December, it was, it's Christmas. That makes sense. That's pretty cool then. Okay, well, I guess I just have to wait. What else? Wait, I don't want to pray. Um, administrator doesn't want anything. Okay, what if I speed up the time? There we go. That worked out. I offer you the following assignment. People everywhere are willing to pay a fair price for metal goods. I want to seize this opportunity to increase production in our beautiful town by two businesses. Okay, well, I can't even build any businesses. This makes no sense whatsoever, guys. No, maybe we'll have to wait until next month until we can like have another feast. So let's just wait up until it turns into January of 1563. Maybe something will happen then. Hopefully. 30... 31st. Oh, there's a fire as well. Okay. Let's get, oh, we can't talk. Okay. Damn it. Well, we're going to fail that mission then, aren't we? Actually, what am I doing? Maybe we... What we could do is also give them some goods that they very much need, like coffee. 
So let's go ahead and do that. I probably should have done that instead of just wasting my time and... Yeah. I could have made a feast, but whatever. So let's try to buy some coffee if we can. There we go. That should be more than enough. Cancun doesn't like us too much. Let's see what the popularity is right now once we sell that coffee. Okay. Oh, that was pirate controlled waters as well. There we go, 31%. Now, we can talk to you, purchase that. And now, as you guys can see, I can now sell you a license which would allow you to build your own businesses and production in Cayman. So we need to have 40 grand for him, um, to do that for him, but I'm not going to do that just yet. I want to build a warehouse because we need one. And they want us to build one over here. We have no choice. So we did that and we needed two houses as well, didn't we? So let's just exit out of here and residences. Two, one, two, two, come on. Oh, we don't have enough money, right? It's a bit embarrassing. Oh, hello. A pretty young woman has two suitors. But as one's boasting becomes ever more displeasing, her attention turns to the other whose deeds impress her more and more. You are making good headway. Nice. Elena just mentioned you to her father quite positively. You know that Cayman means a very great deal to Elena, and she has noted the progress there. Nevertheless, I have the impression that she thinks you're not the right person for this task. Perhaps she would have preferred to have commissioned young Pablo. Okay, so we were at some minus... We were making a... Uh, we had a budget deficit, but now we're back in the black, which is great. We're making good headway with our money. Let's just check what this guy has. Nice. So I set him on prosperity as well, so he's making money. And you know what I'll probably do? I'll probably just leave this um, running for a bit, for a couple of minutes, just me making money. And then we'll come back once I have a bit more money, because this is no fun just watching me earn money really slowly. Yet surely, it's definitely a good way to get money, but it's probably very boring to watch. So, oh, we failed that assignment. That's not really a surprise. Um, so we need to give wood and like the production things to Cayman. Let's actually see um, trading routes. Um, you're on prosperity. Prosperity. You are. What's this? Procure raw materials, and that's okay. okay we probably could do with another ship, couldn't we? And actually, now we don't even have to have ships in Cayman because we have our own warehouse. We can just click right away, which is handy. Um, and yeah, we have enough building materials, it looks like, which is great. So here's our warehouse. Uh, you should create more living space in Cayman, and that's exactly what we're doing. We built one house. We should build another. Actually, we can. Let's go build and residences. We have enough money for it. So let's just go build one right next to it over here then okay leave building mode and that's it we need a bit more bricks but that'll come in time i guess so with that being said that's going to be the end of i think it's episode six hopefully you guys are enjoying it there's a couple of games coming out this month as well that i look forward to playing hopefully you guys will enjoy them um probably they'll be on like the xbox 360 though not many pc games coming out um that i want to play at least Max Payne's coming out. I'm probably not going to be doing that because all these top ma major Let's Plays are going to be making videos of that. So, probably not. But maybe a test drive Ferrari game's coming out. And, yeah, we'll definitely see along the way. Let's just see where the ships disappear from. Like, if they actually disappear. Actually, yeah, is a really nice view. Let's speed things up. I want to see if these ships disappear. Oh, wow. They sail way off into the horizon. Look at them go. Oh wow, they, they disappear, but they actually go quite a far way away. Nice. It's a nice little touch. We still need more wood. What does this guy want? I have the following task for hmm. you. I'm not going to accept that just now because I don't need to. And wait, what do we need? We need 40 grand for you. How about you must have first finished construction of three buildings in this town. That's why we're building that warehouse and two residences. Let's see the residence of this. We still have no people in here, so we're losing money. $100 a day. 
damn. Okay, well, with that being said, thanks guys for watching this episode, and that's going to be it for this one.